So when we first sat down to start thinking about, you know, how the Zubini should be redesigned, um, yeah, I wasn't really sure wh where to go. I thought like it made sense to probably keep them looking ex like, you know, really almost like, you know, exactly how they looked in the original game. Just kind of, you know, dressing them up a little bit, maybe tweaking the colors. Um, but then one afternoon, Scott Osawell sent me an email, a little on the sly, I would say. Um, I opened it up and I saw like his original sketch of the Zumbini, something he made over a decade ago. And so he kind of gave me permission to be like, if you want to play with things a little bit more, here's a good starting point. And so we did. And then, you know, so I started, you know, sketching a couple iterations of what they might look like, because, you know, he'd only drawn a couple Zumbinis and we have a bunch of Zumbinis to figure out. Um, so, you know, trying different hairstyles and I sent them off to Scott. Pretty quickly he responded back and was like, Bob, you did it. You figured it out. You were able to channel what I had originally, you know, envisioned in the Zumbinis. And so that seemed like a good, you know, point to go on. And so we went from there, we started doing turnarounds and we sent them off to our partner. They loved them, which was a great sign to hear. And then the next step was to post them on the Facebook fan page to make sure that the fans you know, received them well. They thought they were cute, appealing, friendly, and that was exactly what we were shooting for.